Open Heavens on the Go, Friday, August 21st, 2020. Topic, True to Your Calling? True to Your Calling? Memory Verse, 1 Corinthians 12, 11. But all this worketh, that one and the self same spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. 1 Corinthians 12, 11. Bible reading, 1 Corinthians 12, 12 to 30. For as the body is one, and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. For by one Spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one Spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, Because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear shall say, Because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? But now hath God set the members, every one of them in the body, as it had pleased him. And if they were all one member, where were the body? But now are they many members, yet but one body. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again the head to the feet. I have no need of you. Nay, much more those members of the body, which seem to be more feeble, are necessary. And those members of the body, which we think to be less honorable, upon this we bestow more abundant honor, and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. For our comely parts have no need, but God hath tempered the body together, having given the more abundant honor to that part which lacked, that there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another, and whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it, or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now ye are the body of Christ, and members in particular. And God hath set some in the church, first apostles, secondly prophets, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Are all workers of miracles? Have all the gifts of healing? Do all speak with tongues? Do all interpret? The message. There are many people in ministry today who are going off track because they are operating in areas wherein they were not called. Some, out of personal ambition, are operating in callings that are not theirs, while others are innocently operating in the wrong callings out of concern. Having a body about something or seeing a need does not automatically translate to a calling. And if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned, except he strive lawfully. 2 Timothy 2.5 According to the above Bible verse, 
anyone who does things outside the will of the master will be disqualified. Everyone who God has called is called by him. If what you are doing is outside God's calling for your life, no matter how good you are in that calling or ministry, it is regarded as irrelevant. Paul was greatly burdened by how the Jews were walking outside the will of God. He kept preaching to them, yet they kept persecuting him. The greatest persecutions he got were from Jews because God was trying to point him in the direction of his main calling, the Gentiles first, then to kings, and then to the children of Israel. Acts 9.15 Had he not been so persecuted by the Jews, he would not have been able to take the gospel to as many Gentiles as he did. Thank God that in Acts 18.5-6, he finally decided to leave the Jews and go to the Gentiles, to whom he was primarily sent. God calls people for a reason, and if anyone were to leave their calling to attend to someone else's, there would be trouble. Imagine someone who is called to, to his, I mean, imagine someone who is called to cause a great evangelical revival, being so burdened about leadership in the nation that he distracts himself by contesting elections. Imagine what will happen if the one who is to find the cure to incurable diseases were to become so burdened about the economy that he gets a job in the Ministry of Finance. You need to identify your calling through the guidance of the Holy Spirit and stay in it so as to fulfill your destiny and more importantly for the world to be a better place are you true to the calling of god upon your life bible reading in one year jeremiah 46 to 48 him for today deeper deeper in the love of jesus the open heavens is written by pastor e a adeboe the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.